Hi Cancers, um, welcome to Clarity Goddess Tarot. Today we are doing a general love spread for your sign from November 7th through November 14th. Keep in mind that these energies are interchangeable. It could be you or the other person, okay? Also, this could have been in your distant past or it could be coming for you in the future, okay? But what I see here intuitively overall, somebody has let go of a of a situation and has uh, possibly blocked communication with that person, okay? For your present energy, you have the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So you're putting in work towards something. Um, maybe you're focusing more on your money here, okay? Uh, your future plans and what it is that you need to do. You're trying to distract yourself from this person possibly by really throwing yourself into your work, all right? Now, what's challenging you is the Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? So there is not really any new beginning here with this person, or at least you don't want it, or they don't want it. Okay, um, I'm, I always take the Ace of Swords as uh, communication possibly being blocked as well. So maybe somebody got blocked here. All right. And um, for your uh, past energy, you have the Hierophant, okay, which speaks about traditions, marriage, uh, doing things in a politically correct way. Okay, so maybe you were married or you were dealing with someone that was married. Okay, maybe you decided that you didn't want to deal with that situation anymore. Okay, now what's clarifying your, uh, your present <clears throat> energy is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so the Aces do speak about new beginnings but it's in reverse i'm intuitively picking up that that doesn't mean you're not getting ready to have a new beginning i'm thinking maybe you have realized that you weren't going to have a new beginning with that person okay so that's why you're focusing more so on your own you know your own money your own life your own goals because the ace of pentacles is clarified by the two of wands which represents um you know, destiny and, and the future and you being more focused on what it is that you need to do. Okay. So these three cards kind of go hand in hand to me. I think you realized here that this uh, situation wasn't working out for you. You weren't going to get a new beginning with them or they were just on some bullshit, you know? So you decided, okay, I need to uh, set my sights on what I need to do for me. Okay. Um, now clarifying the challenge position, you do have the five of swords, which speaks about conflict, uh, fighting, arguing battles, uh, maybe some competition going on, somebody feeling like they, uh, defeated somebody else. Okay. So this could have been you or the other person, but how I'm looking at these cards and what I feel, I feel that the person who feel they won this battle, uh, they are actually the ones that can't move on from this situation. Okay. Because they have the, um, this death card is in reverse. So somebody can't move on here. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, this could be you or them, but someone felt that they, I don't know, maybe they felt that they won by blocking communication, but they ended up being the one that can't move on from it possibly that's for some of you okay now down here in um your partner's energy we have the six of swords which speaks about moving on okay so somebody wanted to drop this burden because it's clarified by the ten of wands which speaks about burdens and somebody just said you know what forget this i'm not i'm not investing in this anymore i don't want to communicate with you anymore and i'm moving on okay um now, you also have the uh, the devil card in reverse clarifying this ten of wands. So whoever you were dealing with or just the situation period was pretty toxic. Now, if I'm correct here and somebody was married, then that makes perfect sense. OK, because dealing with third party situations or people that are married, that absolutely creates toxic energy. OK, because. I mean, you're sharing the person or the person is sharing you, you know what I'm saying? So that can create a whole lot of conflict and a lot of um, uh, just inner battles is what I'm picking up. That's what I'm hearing, okay? There was a lot of inner battles going on, which turned into a burden for somebody. But somebody dropped it. They said, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not fighting with you anymore. And I'm done. You know, because this devil energy speaks about toxicity, um, addictions. Maybe somebody was addicted to someone sexually 
or uh you know narcissism one up one upmanship somebody always feeling like they had to get the upper hand maybe a lot of arguing going on as well okay but the devil card is in reverse now up at the top for your energy we have the knight of pentacles okay so to me that speaks about offers coming in or either you moving towards the new offers all right and that's clarified by the king of swords so you cut this person out somebody got cut out here okay and they don't give a damn if they hurt the person's feelings or if they said things that were very mean or cutting they wouldn't give a damn they said you know what i am moving forward okay and i'm cutting your ass out period now clarifying that king of swords you do have the um the uh two of pentacles because there was some juggling going on here okay now it could have been you or the other person if this person was married or you were married then obviously there was some juggling going on juggling you and someone else okay but um even though down here at the bottom this is supposed to represent your partner's energy I'm feeling like this is this may actually be you and that their energy may be at the top. I'm thinking that you have decided to let this person go and get this devil energy out of your life. You know what I'm saying? Because there was juggling going on. And this person at the top, they want to come forth with an offer, but they're, they're an asshole possibly. Okay, this is either you or them. Somebody either cut somebody out here or somebody is um a narcissist because that's what i that's what i pick up from this king of swords he's a narcissist an asshole he cuts people out he um he, he just don't give a damn okay so maybe that was this person that you were dealing with maybe they were treating you like that but they still want to juggle you at the same time possibly okay that's for some of you but over here in this past position, like I said, we have the Hierophant, which speaks, uh, you know, it could have been marriages going on or somebody was married, okay? And you have the uh, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody's family life was, was uh, in disarray here, was flipped upside down because of this situation, okay? Maybe problems started to arise and you just, you know, you just said, forget it. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Now, over here in your future position, you have the King of Pentacles, which represents abundance, okay? Um, growth, uh, working towards what it is that you want, okay? And see, that's why we have the Eight of Pentacles there in your present position, because you want to get here. You want to get to the King of Pentacles status. You don't got time for distractions and third-party situations and bullshit. You want your Pentacles. You want to focus on your money and what it is that you need to do for you, possibly, okay? And clarifying that, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. See, it goes hand in hand. Somebody was, somebody came out of this devil energy, came out of this, um, this, uh, toxic shit, okay? This, this Eight of, this Eight of Pentacles, this Eight of Swords, this person was, uh, confused okay maybe you were confused dealing with this person up at night dealing with anxiety and worrying and shit you know maybe they were promising you oh i'm gonna lead this person or i'm not doing this certain type of activity anymore and they really were you know what i'm saying and they were feeling like they was getting away with it you know but ultimately they're the ones who are um who aren't able to move on here okay somebody else is moving on and somebody else is not that's what i'm picking up okay because somebody still wants to juggle they want to juggle you and somebody else or you and i don't know maybe an addiction or some other shit that they got going on and you just said forget that you know and then clarifying this eight of swords you have the four of cups so somebody wants to make an offer to you or they're trying to and you don't want it you don't want the offer okay that's why you're sitting there and you're basically ignoring what it is that they're trying to give to you okay you also could be dealing with a, um a water sign a, a cancer or scorpio or pisces like yourself but um yeah somebody here does not want to take this offer they've come out of this energy of being conflicted and confused they're really trying to do some introspection here and you know focus on what it is that they want to do for themselves so uh hopefully that resonates with you guys if so go ahead and leave some comments below also hit the subscribe button and the bell notification okay thank you guys so much for tuning in good luck take care